Hello everyone and welcome back into another Genshin Impact video. Today we're gonna talk about my favorite character, Xiao, so let's get started. Alright, first of all, he is a Podermi user, he is an Animo DPS, and currently he is the only like focused Animo DPS, but that's probably gonna change in the future, so keep an eye on that. But for now, he has that, so he is kinda unique. Let's have a look at his talents first of all, and let's start with his normal attacks, charge attacks and plunging attacks. They do have very high damage multipliers, charge attacks as well, and his plunges of course are just insane. His normal attacks look like this, it's a 6 hit combo that has multiple AoEs and the last strike deals an insane amount of damage and also has an AoE in front of you. His charge attacks do look like a claw in front of him. They can throw enemies in the air and also like stun or stagger actually the big ones uh, but doesn't affect bosses in any way so there's that. And his plunges are nothing crazy, they're just basic plunges. You can uh, like do them easily, you can jump cancel them, you can do normal attacks to cancel them as well. Like, Because the animation is kind of long, so you kind of want to cancel it for like rotation purposes and having the best uptime for your burst. Uh, like so many optimizations, you're gonna get used to it, it's kind of cool. He does not take damage from performing plunging attacks. So, uh, for example, if I uh, jump from up here, down uh, there, with a plunge attack, I'm gonna take zero damage, like this. As you saw, I lost basically no health, but without any cut, uh, I'm gonna teleport back there, use Zhongli, and I'm gonna do the same, just basically jumping out there. That's about the same height, it doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna plunge. And you'll see I'm gonna lose some HP. Uh, yeah, I lost about like, let's say 4000 HP. So yeah, kinda cool passive, uh, like secondary passive, but it helps with exploration, you can just plunge from any height, it doesn't matter. Moving on to his elemental skill, Lemniscatic Wind Cycling. It is basically a dash in front of you that deals animal damage and has two charges. I do have three, because I have Constellation 1, but more on that later. And deals a lot of damage, the cooldown is only 10 seconds, and you can use it in mid-air, so it is quite fun also for exploring. It does deal a lot of damage, don't get me wrong, and also gives you a bunch of particles that is quite useful for uh, your elemental burst. But you can use it mid-air, you can just keep your height, uh, you can just dash around it and go back to gliding. He has multiple uses, so it's kinda cool for exploration. And finally, his elemental burst, Bainable Evil. It's basically the core skill of Zhao, that's why it's his like first priority uh, ability to level up, then your normal attacks, and then your elemental skill, because this ability is really just used for energy, uh, unless you have Constellation 6, where it actually deals a lot of damage. So these are the priorities, level up your burst, your normal attacks and I suggest to you you level both of them at the same time and keep them around the same level and what this ability does is basically increases your jumping ability so you're gonna jump higher that way you can do plunges and his AoEs on all his attacks are bigger he does deal more damage with those attacks his health is gonna be drained by two percent of your current hp per second what that means is that basically it's gonna drain two percent of whatever health you have if you have a hundred percent of course it's gonna be a lot if you have uh, only a bit of health left you're not gonna lose as much health and of course you cannot die from this skill so don't worry about that and also converts all your attacks into animo attacks, so you're now dealing animo damage. That's great, and this cannot be overridden by anything else, so if you have Constellation 6 Bennett or any other character that changes your element, uh, that doesn't work, you're gonna deal animo damage anyway. Another thing that this ability does is that basically doesn't allow you to get energy particles from enemies unless you kill them. That also gives you particles of course, and that's why it's kind of annoying to recharge his burst. It has 15 seconds of duration and the cooldown is only 18 seconds, so you only have 3 seconds to regenerate his burst, and that's kind of hard to do, because it costs 70, so you kind of want either a lot of energy recharge, which I do not have right now, or you can use an animal battery in your team to give him animal particles and regenerate the burst even faster. And to showcase the burst, I'm gonna wait for a friend of mine, so just wait a few seconds, it's gonna be ready in a moment. For now, let's talk about his passive talents. We have Conqueror of Evil, Tamer of Demons, that increases your damage by 5% every 3 seconds of your elemental burst lasting up to 25 
25%, that means that basically at the end of your burst you're gonna deal 25% more damage. Uh, overall, it's a great ability because it gives you more damage. Then we have the solution Eun Heavenfall, where you're basically gonna deal more damage with each subsequent uses of your elemental skill. That means if I cast one elemental skill, and then the next one, and then the next one, that means that my second and third elemental skill are going to deal more damage and that damage is basically 15% more damage. This buff lasts 7 seconds and has a maximum of 3 stacks. Uh, so basically, if you have a constellation 6, you're gonna get 45% more damage on your elemental skills, which is kind of insane. And finally, we have a Transcension Gravity Defier. Basically, you're gonna consume less stamina while climbing. That's just very cool for exploring and just going around. It is definitely a great passive to have. Alright, time to say hello to my friend. All right, there he is, there's Frankie. And he's a very like close friend of mine. He has helped me a lot of times for like energy and testing stuff. He's all right, he's very chill, he usually plays a lot. Uh, but this time I have to kill him. Cause that is what Frankie is for. But luckily he's not gonna last a lot. So hi Frankie, how are you doing? I'm gonna start with my elemental skill, uh, deal a lot of damage and then cast my elemental burst. It is quite easy to stagger Zhao, but here you can see I can plunge and dodge his attacks, and I... well... Anyway, you can jump very high, he deals an insane amount of damage with his plunges. Overall, I feel like Frankie here served his purpose. And yeah, to avoid being like knocked uh, out of your elemental burst and losing time, I suggest you using a shielder like Zhongli or any other shielder in the game will do. But that's basically his elemental burst. Uh, and I may see in the overworld usually do not last a lot, but that's gonna be a showcase at the end of the video. So yeah, you're gonna see this mask a lot more. Let's now move on to weapons, and here we have a lot of options. We do have, of course, the best in slot, which is gonna be the Primal Guild J Wing Spear. This increases your crit rate by 22%, gives you 674 base attack, which is an insane amount of base attack, and also increases your attack by an X amount. I, I think it's... Uh, Yes, 3.2% at refinement 1. This can have up to 7 stacks and you can get a new stack every 0.3 seconds. And whenever you have all of the 7 stacks, you're gonna get an additional 12% more damage. So as you can see, this weapon increases your attack by a lot, while also giving you crit rate. Another 5 star option that is completely insane is gonna be, the, of course, the Staff of Homa. It gives you a bit less attack and also gives you a lot of crit damage, but also increases your HP by 20% and provides an attack bonus based on 0.8% of your max HP, and that goes up to 1.8% of your max HP whenever your health is below 50%. So, as you can see, this weapon also gives you a lot of attack and gives you crit damage. So, these two weapons, overall, probably the best choices for him, depending on what artifacts you have, of course it's gonna be uh, better the Staff of Homa or the Primal Judge Wing Spear. I have tested both and they kinda deal the same amount of damage, uh, but of course it's your preference. I do prefer this one because it looks better on him. Moving on to four star options, you can uh, use the Favonius Lance if you're just starting out and you happen to have this weapon, it's gonna be alright. Serviceable gives you energy recharge and more energy particles whenever you do crit. And uh, also gives you a lot of base attack, which is not bad, but probably it's not the best weapon for him. Uh, while if you have the battle pass, you can go for the death match. This is, gives you an insane amount of crit rate, so crit rate shouldn't be a problem for you anymore. Uh, has a low amount of attack, as you can see it's only 454, but gives you a lot of attack and defense buffs here whenever there's at least two enemies, while if there's only one, it increases your attack by a lot. This is at refinement 4 and I get 42% more attack. Attack. So against bosses, this is just amazing. And in hordes, you have a lot of defense as well, so it's gonna be harder to kill you. Then we have the best free to play option, which is gonna be the Black Cliff Pole. You can get this one from the shop whenever that's available. Gives you a lot of base attack, a lot of crit damage, and also increases your attack whenever you kill enemies. Uh, that is 12% more attack at refinement 1 for 30 seconds whenever you kill an enemy, and that can stack up to 3 times, so that means you can have up to 36% more attack. Another option is going to be the Crescent Pike. This weapon also has a lot 
of base attack, but increases your physical damage, so that's not gonna be amazing. Uh, but the passive does deal physical damage whenever you gain elemental particles, which is alright. Uh, it's not gonna be amazing, of course, but it, it is something. And if you're just starting out, you can craft this one at the forge, so it's not gonna be that bad. And it also looks kinda alright on him. And finally, we have probably the hardest weapon to get out of all this, because it's, it's an event-ish weapon, because you can get this one from the weapon banner, but only in certain uh, banners, not all of them so it's kind of hard to get and this is just amazing on him because it has a lot of a base attack uh, gives you attack percentage as a substat and uh, further increases your attack and your crit rate based on how many characters that are from Lue you have in your party so uh, for example Xiao is from Lue so that's already 10% attack and 6% crit rate and that goes up for each other character you have from Lue let's now move on to artifacts here we have a couple of options, not many, but you can use two-piece gladiator and two-piece Vredessa Vernier. You can use any other set that has the uh, plus 18% attack. That includes, as always, Echoes of an Offering, Vermilion Hereafter, Shimnawa's Reminiscence, and of course, Gladiator's Finale. Or you can use the four-piece Vermilion Hereafter. You're gonna get the 80% more attack. Yes, this is a very long description. Uh, you're gonna get basically 8% more attack whenever you cast your burst. For 16 seconds and whenever you lose HP you're gonna get an additional 10% uh, up to four times so that means you're gonna get in total 48% more attack from here that means you have 66% more attack just from uh, using your elemental burst and using HP so it is very powerful for Zhao overall you can even remove the attack percentage sand here and go for energy recharge if you want that way you're gonna have less problems uh, casting your elemental burst it is very useful for basically uh, mixing your build and making it more uh, usable. Time to move on to Constellation, it's gonna be quite fast. Constellation 1 gives you one more charges for your elemental skill, that is what I have currently. It is really useful for exploration and for some stuff in Abyss, but doesn't really help a lot during fight, so nothing really crazy here, but it is helpful. Constellation 2 gives you 25% more energy recharge whenever Zhao is not on the field. Uh, completely useless, doesn't really matter. Uh, you kind of want to have Zhao on the field anyway, so not really that useful. Constellation 3 gives you more damage basically on your elemental skill. Alright, Constellation 4 increases your uh, defense whenever your HP is below 50%. That is alright, but if you're using a shielder and a healer in your party, I don't know how you're gonna fall below 50%, so kinda hard to achieve that, and also kinda useless. Constellation 5 gives you more levels on your Benoble Evil, so again, more damage, and Constellation 6 is controversial, cause it is cool being able to spam your elemental skill for one second without cooldowns, that is just very cool, whenever you hit two enemies, you can do that, but that's basically it, and against bosses it is useless, in multiple situations in Abyss is also useless, so overall depends on like how much you like playing Zhao if you really want Constellation 6, but for me, I think Constellation 1 is probably where you should stop, uh, not gonna change a lot, of course, but it's just one more skill you have at the start of the battle. So that's basically his kit in a nutshell, and I and I want to talk about teams because there's a lot of teams you can do with Zhao, I just want to mention a couple of them. And the first one I want to talk about is using Yelan, and I'm using her only for one reason specifically, that is uh, this passive talent over here that increases your damage. Whenever her elemental burst deals damage to enemies, you're gonna get 3.5% more damage on your active character, up to 50%. You do have to do normal attacks, but as I showed before you can use normal attacks to cancel the animation of your plunges then go back into plunging and do that combo i am of course using zhongli for the shield and the elemental defense trip he has with his elemental skill his shield basically and then i have bennett like why wouldn't i uh, he gives more damage and he also heals the party, so it's amazing. I do suggest you have a lot of energy recharge on your show if you're using this team specifically, because your elemental burst is going to be down a long time, uh, or you can use Favonius Lance on Zhongli, or Favonius Bow on Yelan, or Favonius Sword on Bennett, depending. Uh, that way you're going to get some more particles that you can give to Zhao and feed his burst. The next 
team I want to talk about is gonna be this one and of course I'm using Zhongli again for the same reasons I'm using the Traveler here because she's a very cool like burst DPS you can use her elemental burst and some elemental skills to deal actually a lot of damage during the battle and she also increases crit rate whenever a character is standing in the area of her elemental burst so that means my Zhao is gonna get 15% more crit rate just by existing in that elemental burst area and then of course using Jin because well she's animal she can give animal particles to Zhao she's also a healer so that's amazing and you can give her the noblesse oblige that or give that to the traveler and that's gonna be basically more damage for Zhao as well but the I will say free to play team I'm using Toma here he has an okay shield he has pyro resonance with Bennett so that's 25% more attack for your team uh, I'm using Sucrose as my animal battery, that way I can give animal particles to Zhao and it's gonna be easier to maintain his burst up, that's why she's only level 60 and her talents are I think only level 2 or something, uh, yeah I do have constellations but she's basically not leveled and you kinda need only two things on her which are basically the visual fragments or the Favonius Codex as her weapon of choice and constellation one because that's gonna give another charge to your elemental skill uh, that way you can cast it two times even three with you, if you have the sacrificial fragments that basically means more elemental particles for your show and finally we have this team over here where i replace uh yellow for raiden shogun because basically what she does is she recharges Shao's burst and Shao's burst buffs her burst because it costs a lot so there's that going on and that's why I'm using her. She's just basically my battery here and this actually works quite well. This is the team I'm going to use in the showcase. I hope you guys enjoyed the guide so uh, yeah have fun with the showcase and I'll see you at the end. And the candles glitter like you're in a thriller Heart goes pom 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 Gorsi figures, they can get so bitter Show you want to enter, you can turn back to You don't, you don't know where I've been What's going on inside Where the monsters like to come alive, come alive Do you really wanna know me? I'm really not that cozy It's up to you, so you decide, you decide you love me? Try to break me like a curse, you know that will never work I'm a little bit absurd, I like dancing on the verge Anyone can love a pretty little mansion But could you love a, a haunted, haunted house? Or could you love me now? A haunted, haunted house I'm a haunted house A haunted, haunted house If you're too scared, get out My wall saying that you better turn around Wouldn't be the first to try to burn me down Your boo, you too Could you love me at my worst? Feel the coffins in the dirt Try to break me like a curse You know that will never work I'm a little bit absurd I'm dancing on the verge Anyone can love a pretty little mansion But could you love a A haunted, haunted house Oh, could you love me now? A haunted, haunted I'm a haunted house A haunted, haunted house If you're too sick, get out A haunted, haunted house Let's put you out for now A haunted, haunted house I'm a haunted house A haunted, haunted house You're just looking sad A haunted, haunted house I'm a haunted house Why steal the coffins in the dark? Anyone can love a pretty little man 
Alright, that was Shao. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys pulled for Shao. I mean, not really, but he's just an amazing character for me. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. With frogs, cold night and the winter hot cold. Sorry that I fall away sometimes. Sorry that I fall away sometimes. Yeah, yeah. The end. Got to end it all on the weekend. Sorry that I feel that way sometimes. Sorry that I feel that way sometimes.